we are absolutely delighted with the set of results that uh, the team has uh, has put together um, really what you are seeing is a very strong operating performance a very strong recovery in both South Africa and Spain and uh, when you look through the detail in each of the businesses um, you do see some some common themes and that is that you're seeing a continual growth in footfall coming through you're seeing sales coming through starting to surpass uh, pre-COVID levels so I think you know sort of really showing you that the recovery is uh, is very firmly on track and I think we are seeing exceptionally vibrant letting activity um, in, in both markets and maybe particularly in the South African market so if we just go through you know some of the highlights um, you know South Africa if you look at it from a, a on a like-for-like -like basis in terms of net operating income growth we we're up 3.7 percent now what we've done there is actually stripped out any effect of COVID so you're not sort of seeing this you know the, this growth coming back from COVID that's already happened that was up nearly 30 percent right but on a like-for-like -like basis that's up 3.7 percent um, and that is, is tremendously encouraging equally if you look at the trading density growth um, that is up 4.3 percent now what's particularly um, pleasing about that is that we're seeing the recovery across the board so we track 13 different categories uh, of, of retailers in our in our centers um, five six months ago when we uh, when we presented our, our, our full year results um, you know just over six months ago we had five categories that were in negative t territory in terms of uh, growth in trading densities etc today we've got 12 categories that are in positive territory in terms of growth in trading density and turnover and the only category where whilst it has shown an improvement is still in negative territory is uh, department stores and that really is Edgar's uh, it's the only one that really fits into that category together with game and I think both of those businesses have got their own operating challenges that they're working through but when you look at it it's an all-round broad-based improvement in all the retail categories that we are seeing so that is very encouraging um, if you look at it from a, a letting point of view in South Africa uh, also been uh, tremendous so vacancies are contained at uh, at 3.2 percent um, our tenant retention rate is sitting at 94 percent and what we are finding is that there is a renewed focus on growth from all of the top retailers that we've been talking to um, and that is tremendously encouraging so it's not only the nationals it's your second tier nationals as well that are coming through but we've just finished a, a roadshow with our top retailers and uh, really with, with almost no exception, every one of them has got ex aggressive expansion plans going forward. And that augurs really well for the, uh, for the retail sector. And uh, you know, if you consider that there may be a, um, a slowdown in development activity, we certainly would encourage uh, that there is no new development, it's not needed then I think that you know the existing stock together with growth from the retailers creates a potentially very positive picture for retail focused funds such as Vakile especially operating in the uh, the middle to lower income side of the market um, our rent collection is sitting at 99 percent and uh, you know really the, the team has done brilliantly to uh, to get the levels up to uh, to that level